Hi, today I'm doing a really important follow-up video to my recent Calvert and Estellas reviews because I found out something that I need to share. I'm Shannon Germain, and this is Nix the Norm. So, one of my amazing subscribers told me that Calvert and DeSellis are being offered to some public school kids this fall. And I wanted to follow up super quickly because there are some things you really might want to consider before choosing. First off, a big thank you to the person who told me this by commenting below. I love it when I get feedback like this. So please, if there's anything you want reviewed or my input on when it comes to homeschooling, please feel free to comment below because I've been homeschooling a long time. And while you're at it, please like, and even more importantly, subscribe to my channel, because I'll be posting a lot of homeschool supplements and resources over the next few weeks that will make your school year a lot less stressful and more fun. Besides, I'm trying to get 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, because I want to prove that a kid like me can get subscribers without doing things like those viral internet challenges or resorting to bad language or violent images. Anyway, just last week, I posted reviews of Vasilis Power Homeschool and also Calvert Homeschool, and I'll post both links below in my description. And one of the things I mentioned that I loved about Calvert is that it's very flexible. Like if I'm doing Calvert English and they've got me reading Dostoyevsky, and I'd rather read anything but that, then my mom could go into her dashboard and remove that from my curriculum without affecting my grade. Then I could supplement with something else of my own. Just so you know, Dostoyevsky is not required reading in Calvert. That's just an example. And I love the flexibility that Calvert offers that way. But I don't imagine that you'll have the same flexibility if you choose the Calvert option from your public school system. I don't know. But if that's the part of Calvert you like, then absolutely find out for sure before you choose. Now in my Acellus review, I didn't mention anything about that level of flexibility because they just didn't have it that way. But in both reviews, you're going to hear a theme from me. And honestly, it's kind of something that's kind of a pet peeve of mine anyway. You'll hear these words. And that's just because as someone who gets to pick and choose my curriculums, I'm a really tough grader. And school just shouldn't be dry and boring. It should be fun and exciting. Now, things like Dostoyevsky, that's probably never gonna be exciting. But just remember that when you're schooling at home, even if you're stuck with a curriculum that might not be that great, there are so many things that you can supplement with. Like for history and science, there are shows on Netflix, Amazon Prime, and right here on YouTube that I'll be reviewing that really can inject some fun into your learning. And you've got Khan Academy that I'm posting a review about later this week. And it's mind-blowing, all that you can learn on there. And there are apps and websites, and I could just go on and on and on about some of the stuff that's out there for you and I'll show you the best of them right here on my channel. And many of them are completely free! My point is, please don't panic if something seems a little dry or boring, because in this world of the internet, it doesn't have to be that way. And either Acellus or Calvert are excellent options that really cover their topics in detail, even if they may not be perfect. I hope this video helps you make the right decision for your kids. Again, I'll be posting lots more reviews in the coming weeks to get you all prepared for the school year. So please subscribe 
and share with your friends because I really want to hit 1,000 subscribers and show the world that a kid doesn't need to do anything dramatic in order to get subscribers. You have failed me for the last time.